All right, so, okay, so today I am here to do a, there was a fly going, so yeah, let's try that again. Hi guys, okay, so today I am here to do a review on the hair that I am wearing. If you have not noticed, once a week I will bring to you guys some affordable hair, or just hair in general, that I have been wearing for you guys to try out. All of the other videos throughout the week will just be natural hair videos or makeup videos, so yeah, just in case you guys were wondering. Or you haven't gotten a pattern. So today the hair that I am wearing is from Miss Lynn. So yeah, if you'd like to know more about this hair, then just keep on watching. Hi guys, okay, so the hair that I have been wearing is from MissLynnHair.com. I am wearing her Brazilian straight in all 18 and an 18 inch closure as well. Um, just right off the bat, I wanted something short, even though 18 inches on me is still like boob length for me. It's a little bit longer than boob length for me. Uh, as I always say, I'm about 5'3", so that's just a reference when it comes to length and how long the hair is. Even my cousin was just like, I don't know why hair just always looks very long on you but it just always looks super super long like I thought this was going to be a little bit more natural than it is but it's still like very very long and sometimes I get like 22 24 inches when it comes to hair so this hair is definitely it's a moderate length for me it's not nothing extremely long like as if I if I were to be getting the 24 or 22 inches so yeah but the hair, one, the number one thing that I can't say about this hair is that it is super, super soft. Now, I've had no problems with tangling, no problems with shedding, but I rarely ever get those problems when it comes to straight hair just because I'm not really doing anything to my hair. When I have straight hair, the only thing I may do is run a flat iron through it and that's about it. I don't really do a lot to my hair when I have straight hair. The hair is definitely the same from root to tip. It doesn't get like see-through or anything when it comes to the ends or anything like that. Now what I will say is I use like three bundles but I probably will go in and reconstruct the wig and add all four bundles. I definitely would recommend even with the 18 inches because normally if I get shorter lengths like an 18 inch I only need about three bundles because the bundles are super full. Now the bundles did appear to be full but once I got through with the wig I was like mm, I could have definitely used another bundle even though it's, it doesn't look like oh my god girl you only got like two bundles in it I don't have that look going on with the hair but by it being straight I definitely would, wouldn't have mind a little more thickness to it now I had this hair been like curly or um like a kinky curly or something like that then you probably wouldn't really mind because the hair is already big but by your hair being straight I definitely would like a little bit more um just a little bit more thickness for me so she did send over from four bundles but I definitely did not leave enough space in between each um weft like I, I did the hair like I normally would and I definitely would definitely would I definitely, 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 definitely. I would like to, I would have uh, liked to have a little bit more uh, bundles in the hair. That's just a personal preference. When my hair is straight, I definitely like, if I say definitely one more time, I really do like to have that fullness and that thickness. When I have curly hair, you can definitely... When I have curly hair, you can get away with having three bundles with 18 inch just because the hair is super full already. With straight hair, you don't want to skimp out on the um, on the bundles. You want to make sure that your hair is full. Like I said, you can't see through the hair or anything like that. This is just me doing like having like a personal preference of what I like and what I want my hair to feel like. So that's all that is. The shipping came really fast. I had no problems when it came to shipping. Um, I had no problem when it came to shipping. I did go to the website and she is having a back to school sale. So I would definitely check that out. The wealth came constructed very, very nicely. I had no problem bleaching the knots. The knots did not over bleach or anything like that. The first time I bleached the knots, everything came out perfectly. I had no problem with it going overboard with bleaching and I had no problem with it not taking color at all either. So definitely keep that in mind. Bleaching knots is something that I have yet to just like master all the way. Therefore when I do bleach knots I have to make sure that I'm watching it a lot 
because sometimes it will definitely it just all honestly it all depends on the where where you get your hair from because sometimes I can get knots and it'll bleach really really quickly sometimes I get ble I get a little sometimes I get a closure and the knots won't bleach at all sometimes I get a closure and the knots take a little bit longer to bleach so I would definitely keep that in mind these I think I left the bleach on there on these knots for about 10 15 minutes at, at max and the hair was bleached perfectly it didn't over bleach I didn't have to go through go through each um, section and correct anything so I was definitely grateful for that what else um the shine on the hair now I did have a bit of serum in my hair so that was just to help the sleekness of the hair but the shine of the hair is about um it's like medium it's like medium to low it's nothing too shiny it doesn't look plastic or anything I don't look like it don't look like Barbie doll hair let's say that okay the hair is definitely nice um what else I have not curled the hair just because I when I have wigs I have wigs for specific reasons like this one will be just to wear straight I'd probably never curl it um now I do have wigs that were that did come to me straight or wefts that did come to me straight and I decided to curl them but I feel like once you curl that hair it never ever has that same bone straightness that in first head if that makes sense like it'll get straight but it's just something different about it like it's not that same sleek bone straight look let me know if you know what I'm talking about so yeah I probably never curl the hair so I'm not sure how well the hair holds a curl so I would definitely keep that in mind like I don't have anything bad to say like it's just a regular nice bunch of hair like it's super affordable and if you have like a sister or a daughter or something that's like wanting to get like a sew in or something but you're kind of hesitant and you don't want to spend too much money I would definitely check them out because they're super affordable um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave other suggestions of videos that you'd like to see down below. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.